we're at the roaches and there's some really beautiful current cross bedding that you can see here. So you can see these sets of beds like this. And if I trace one, so this one, it comes down and it bends over and becomes flat at the bottom. So the angle decreases as you come down. And then the next set, you can see cuts across it. So these are all coming up and stopping there. So this is current cross bedding. What's happening is that you've got effectively like a dune or something, a ripple, and the sand is being pushed over the top of the ripple. Once it gets over the side, the end of the ripple, the current is up here, and down here there's a little bit of slack water. So the sand just falls down here and gets deposited on the downstream side of the ripple to make these slopes. Then as the current is pushing the sand over, the top of the ripple is being weathered off and pushed over. The sand is being weathered off the top of the ripple and pushed over down the side. So this is current cross bedding. When you have these beds terminated like this on top, it's the right way up. And when they come down and bend down and get flat at the bottom, that's the right way up. And it also tells us the current direction. So you have to see them in 3D. If we go around to the end of this, we can actually see that when you look end on, you don't see any cross bedding. So when you're looking end on, you're looking directly into the current direction. You don't see any of this, this geometry which is being driven by the current. So in this case, we have the current is running from that direction. That's from the south to the north. So we have a nice paleo current indicator. And it doesn't matter what happens with the tilting of the bedding. If you rotate everything back to horizontal, it tells you what the current was when these things were deposited 300, 350 million years ago.